Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rika and welcome to my channel. I make college, beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos. So if that's something that interests you and you like my videos, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join the Rob Mob. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my quick and easy everyday makeup routine. So the first thing that I do is I do my concealer first. This is the concealer that I use. So I take my concealer and I put it right underneath my eyes. And then I will go in with a flathead foundation brush and just blend it out. So after I finish with my concealer, I go in with the Physicians, for Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I just take a big brush like this and I kind of pinch it together to make more of an angle, make it more straight. and then. We'll kind of create a line with that. And then I'll let go of the brush and I'll just blend it out. Okay. And then I will take this little brush and dip it in my butter bronzer. And then just like do a little bit of contouring with my nose. I just know that like a lot of people don't like a lot of bronzer, but I love a lot of bronzer on my face. I think it just like makes my face look more. It just makes it look a little bit more sun kissed, maybe. I just dig it, you know? I love it. I love me some bronzer. I'll start my eyebrows. Um, my eyebrows right now are like really bad. I really need to get them threaded. I will brush them out. Since they really don't have a shape and they need to get done, I don't really do that much to them. I will just take the Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator pencil. Again, I'll just fill in any spaces. Or I'll, I'll just fill it in a little bit. If my brows were a little bit better, I would have gone in with my eyebrow brush and my enhancing brow pomade, and I would have filled it in that way, but these babies are struggling. So, and then I'll go in with the Rimmel London Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel. It's also tinted in a dark brown. I don't even know what shade this is. Yeah, it's literally dark brown. I'll just lightly brush over it to kind of help it stay in place. And after my brows, I will go in with my brush. Blush. After I get done with my brows, I will typically go in with Glossier's liquid blush in the tint storm so the way that i do my blush is i'll take it on my finger and i will take another foundation br blush or a blending brush a blending brush i cannot say bl brush anyway so i'll take it on my brush and then i will just brush it on I'm sorry if you hear those noises, that's my dog, you know, chewing on things, the basic dog stuff. Okay, and I don't really do that much, and I don't really do do that much to my eyes. Um, I would just like, I'll maybe sometimes go in with a little bit of bronzer and just like fill in my crease a little bit. Like that. I typically try to go for a more natural look. 
Okay, so next I'll take a um, spoolie, a spoolie, and I will just brush up my eyelashes. And then I will go in and y'all have seen, okay, Ryder, hey. And I actually showed you guys my eyelash routine, but I'm about to show you guys again for those who didn't see the video. So I take my coconut oil and my eyelash curler and I will just curl very little and then just put on the oil. I also did a lash lift video. I really don't need the eyelash curler, but I like to use it, apply my coconut oil onto it. Then, after I have my lashes curled, I will go in with L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I will apply that onto my eyelashes. After I use my waterproof mascara, I will go in with a bigger mascara brush. This one is, I don't, the name got faded away, but any big, big brush will do just to give it some more volume. I use the really skinny one for length, and then I will go back in and just. And then now I'm gonna just take a Q-tip and fix up the mascara that got onto my eyelid with some coconut oil. And then sometimes I just like to go over my mascara one more time. I love mascara so much. If I could literally only use one makeup product for the rest of my life, it'd be waterproof mascara. And then once I finish my mascara, finish my mascara, I like to go in with a big fan brush and I'll take some highlighter and I take the brown, this one, and I'll just dip it in, this, in the middle one, the two middle colors, I'll just... Okay, and I'll take my finger, dip it in the highlighter, and then just apply it to the tip of my nose, and just go up. I'll take some more, and I'll put it on the cupid of my lip. And then I will take some chapstick, go over my lips. And then I'll go in with a Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in the color Red Dahlia. Dahlia. This is what the shade looks like. And I'll just apply it. Here is the finished look. Um, if you're wondering about my freckles, these aren't real freckles. They are semi-permanent henna tattoos. Freckles, I have a video about that if you want to see how I did my freckles right here. Yeah, so this is the finished look and I will be putting the items listed down below that I used in order. Ryder. Ryder. There he is. Let me give, oh, let me give you guys a little puppy update. Isn't he getting so big? I can't really tell. Ryder, look at the camera. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.